The first step of preparing HR analytics dashboard is analyzing the data set. First go through the columns saving account, employee ID, employee name, year, job role, branch, etc. So first convert those column into one column means spread in 34 columns we list out the items now using the column headings and we have to pick the relevant data set for our HR analytics dashboard so when we list out the names it is around 35 are there so out of 35 all are not required for HR analytics dashboard as per the HR matrix as per the HR uh, uh, managers convenience we have to select the list out the dashboard so I am taking out the common HR analytics uh, indicators uh, so I have divided into two segments one is overall that is at the company level and one more at the employee level the company level we can consider we can consider the total count of the employees in the company gender wise classification and we can calculate attrition rate number of employees who left the company during the year number of active employees during the year and percentage of attrition these are the main uh, metrics at the company level along with that we can also think about uh, we can also show the number of branches in the company number of uh, countries where the branches are located as well as number of department in one branch or one company that we can that also we can show in this dashboard at the overall or at the company level at employee level we can show his name his id his age his marital status then his joining date years of experience job role the branch where is located then the number of six le sick leaves available during the year the number of vacations available during the year and the performance indicators that is the performance uh, uh, rating job level rating job involvement rating the competency level uh, the job satisfaction level and work life balance as per the data available in the data set, we can decide the uh, matrix for the dashboard. So first step, this is the first step to list out the performance matrix or the HR dashboard matrices as per the available data set. The next step is the how we, how we are going to present those matrix or information in the dashboard so majority things will be in the form of text box if you take the employee count gender wise classification so majority company wise details will be in text box format there is no need of calculation or graphical presentation but when it comes to uh, employee related it will be again uh, the initial details will be demographic detail will be in text box form but when it comes to performance it will be in uh, either uh, bar charts or uh, donut charts so all the performance indicator of the employee will be in the form of donut chart and uh, at the same time uh, when we uh, so in the dynamic HR dashboard when we search details of one employee it's better to get details of corresponding branch and uh, other details also so that we can uh, so in the company wise detail we can add branch wise nation wise department wise graphs so that whenever we click uh, whenever we search about one employee the corresponding branch details department details we can get so that we can easily uh, compare the uh, performance matrices so the branch wise detail we can show it in bar charts normally bar diagram or uh, uh, the tree a tree uh, shape also we can use it to show the uh, the branch wise uh, employee count and for the department detail we can show the bar charts 
when when uh, the indicator performance indicators of the employee we usually follow a donut chart uh, in this dashboard we are showing it as a speedometer so using the donut chart we are creating speedometer and that can be uh, that we are going to prepare so this this is the first step in preparing hr dashboard that is analyzing the data set and listing out the relevant hr matrix and uh, in what mode or what format we are going to present it so in upcoming video in next video we are going to show how to design a dashboard template